dozens of desktop computers, racks and racks of high performance computer classes, various work environments, a team of dedicated young men and women and their bosses hard at work at their decks, all motivated by one singular goal, namely to apply the fundamental laws of physics and chemistry implemented in computer programs to investigate nature at the electronic and molecular levels. This is the Computational Chemistry Center in the Department of Chemistry at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumase, Ghana. And this is a brief on what we do. We are a team of chemists without the lab coats and the gloves. We investigate chemical reactions and find low energy and environmentally friendly means of making useful chemicals. We investigate the properties of functional materials and find ways of fine tuning their properties for novel applications. In the pharmaceutical industry, where a hydrogen in a molecule pointing leftwards as opposed to rightwards can make the difference between a potent medicine and a dangerous poison, we are here to investigate the selectivity of reactions for the synthesis of pharmaceutically relevant molecules and how mankind can take control of these reactions to make targeted molecules for the desired applications. My name is George Bafo Pipio, a final year student in the Department of Chemistry at KUST. I'm currently working on the mechanistic investigation of one thread that pillar circular issue in the between CN guys substituted and shown and 4 methylene 154H oxazone. The aim of this study is to provide a detailed mechanistic insight into the reaction of the one thread that pillar circular issue between the various derivatives of the oxazone and the CN guys substituted and shown. Uh, the future aspiration is to end up in a beta aided drug design research program. My name is Daniel Abuaji Epuamwa, a final year student. My research work focuses on the 1 3 dipolar cycle addition reaction of indoles with dosal azides, subsequently, hydro aromatization and ring opening cascade. The aim of my study is to provide a detailed mechanistic insight into the reaction of N metal indoles with para tosal azides by examining the energetics of the various elementary steps leading to the formation of the various products observed in the experimental work of Sheng and co-workers. It was not until I got involved in computational chemistry that I realized I could make significant contribution to the field of science even at this early stage of my career. So from my experience so far, one of the things I've learned here is critical thinking and the ability to identify problems and solve them. In material science, we investigate ways to make materials with desired predetermined properties for various applications, such as photocatalysis, electrocatalysis, and optoelectronics.
involves a mechanistic study where we look at uh, the polymerization of model compound glycol to obtain less oxygenated compounds to improve uh, the fuel efficiency. We investigate ways to make chemistry and the chemical industry cheaper, safer, and environmentally friendlier. I'm Nana Makumido Achimain, and I'm currently a teacher and research assistant in the Department of Chemistry. Last year, I got the opportunity to work in the computational lab, and um, I studied um, a system, brutal titanium dioxide, for the photocatalytic conversion of carbon dioxide into fuels. Hopefully, later this year, I'll be starting graduate studies, postgraduate studies, and um, I hope to study superconductivity in two-dimensional materials. My name is Grace Ahen. I'm currently a research assistant in this lab. Um, as an undergraduate, I had the opportunity to do my final year project in this lab where I use computational tools to study the mechanism of some selected material dipolar cycle addition reactions. And as a student here in this lab, I learned a lot of things. I learned how to find solutions to problems and how to conduct scientific research. And it has been really helpful. Um, I will be going to graduate school very soon. And in my graduate studies, I would like to deploy integrative modeling techniques to study the structure and dynamics of biomolecular systems. Computational chemistry is the final frontier of chemistry, a realm where your imagination is your only limitation. The funding over the years has been from the Teaching and Learning Fund of the National Council of Tertiary Education and the Royal Society of Great Britain through the Leverhulme and DFID grants.